so I'm at the gas station and everyone knows, you know, I'm a health nut and I like to stay hydrated. And I can't tell you how important it is to drink water. Sometimes. And he knows how to properly ride too. He's not winding out all the gears. You could tell he was wearing a helmet, he was dressed safely, he was in riding gear. And he rode nice. He sound bike sounded clean too. There was my truck Escalade Denali though version. Oh, I missed it. We missed it. But yeah, my truck anyways. They're all the same. The Denali, the Escalade, it's all the same. GMC, they're just different trim levels. But anyways, um I'm at the gas station, right? I'm about to go work out plenty plenty of fish. I was talking about plenty of fish earlier, but Planet Fitness. And uh I'm a health nut. I know people always say that energy drinks are bad for you. Yes, they are if you consume them to the amount where that's bad for you. If you have insulin problems, of course, it's bad for you. If you're not working out and you're not drinking the proper water, yeah, it's not healthy for you. If you're not brushing your teeth after you drink these type of things or, you know what I mean, or you sit there and swish it around your teeth, you know what I mean? You're supposed to drink it and let it not... Let it pass your teeth, you know, and try to, you know, get it down immediately. And rinse your mouth out with water, you know. Don't let the, the acidic stuff sit in your teeth, especially before you go to bed. That type of stuff. That's why people end up with cavities a lot. Um, but the reason why I'm at this gas station because the gas one that lasts a while. Um, two, the guy gave me $2 yesterday for uh, free. I only had a dollar twenty-one in change that I could find at the time, and he gave me $2, that was amazing. So here I am again, with only $13. I made $35 today selling myself, you know, plasma-wise. Not, you know, I'm not sucking dick or anything like that. I'm not selling my asshole or my bussy, whatever you want to call it. Never would, never have, never will. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people. Thinking that being faggot is okay, it's not okay. They know it's wrong. They they know. They how do they get born? They sure unless they were cloned or fucking put in a fucking culture dish and fucking petri dish and you know fucking made on fucking high fucking meth dreams because of fucked up evil and their fucked up family that had them f so fucked up in their head that was their only way to escape the pain and come up with their identity of being okay with themselves as their fucking whole life is a lie. Because it's driven by evil, which was a liar from the very first start, which that's exactly what the Bible says. And there goes another boy. Which this car really sounds like a crotch rocket. When it, when Boo starts coming in, because it's supercharger too, um, I, it's it's linear and the boosts don't really start coming in till later on in RPMs, obviously, because it's the higher the motor is rubbing, right? The faster the supercharger can pack in air. Um, it's only running like two, three pounds of boost. I really want to get a different pulley, but I'm not going to start doing all that stuff until I get the brakes changed. You know, I have a little money to dump into maintaining it. You know what I mean? And plus I want to, I want to get it on the lift. I want to, Replace gaskets, change the alternator starter. I'm putting the battery, the lithium battery in the back. I'm gonna design a rack still um, for the back seat, um, you know, to store stuff. So as I travel, the seats gotta get changed out. Um, definitely getting heated seats because I'm gonna be sleeping in here. I want heated seats in here. Um, and I want leather seats. I really, really want leather seats. Um, and the reason why I got this car too is because it's manual everything. Um, it's got a manual stick, obviously, right? The doors are manual, all right? The mirrors are manual, right? The only thing that was electric was the hatch, the door popper right here. It already had a spot for the boost gauge and it had a boost gauge at work, so that was already solved right there. Even though if I run a turbo, I'm probably gonna need another boost gauge. Obviously, if I want to do, you know, monitor both of them separately, um, which I would want to, which would probably go somewhere over here. 
Um, I decided I'm keeping the same speedometer. I still haven't figured out what this is for. I'm assuming it's to adjust something. Um, it looks like it has a, a hose that, it's like a coil, it's a little hose. I'm sure it's for, I'm thinking it's for the boost gauge. Um, and you can turn it. But I can't, I tried looking back there, it doesn't look like anything's hooked up to it. And it has a cover. So, um, but I still don't know what that hook's hooked up for. So I, I did decide what I want to do, right? Um, I am going to put a, a computer in here. I'm trying to find, like, the laptop that I have, the Acer Travelmate laptop. I want a solid-state computer that doesn't push out a lot of heat. That's another reason why I like that laptop. It doesn't push out any heat at all. It doesn't get hot. Even when I'm working on it really, really hard, it doesn't get hot. Um, I need something like that that's going to mount somewhere under here. Next, I can make them out under the glove box. There's a lot of room under there. There is. Oh, I think I'm getting a phone call. No. I'm getting messages or something. Facebook updates. And, whatever. and then I'm putting a screen right here. So I got to find a screen that's small enough where I come out in here. And I don't want it to be a Kenwood radio. Unless the only way I want it to be a Kenwood radio or a Pioneer or somewhere, it's gotta be Kenwood, I really like Kenwood. Um, unless it's another version, like an Android version. Um, I'm okay with it being knockoff as long as it, like if it's like a full Android, like a phone in a sense, I'm okay with that. Like if they had Marketplace and stuff, cause they have those, cause then I can do more with it. Um, it's like a computer basically in a sense, right here, you know? That's why I would want it. Um, but I really just want a Kenwood radio or just a screen. But that, like I said, if the Kenwood radio has a video in, which I knew they make them, I've seen them, I, I look at them, but there's so much money. They do, they want, because they you got to get the brain, a lot of them, the brain is outside of them, and then, you know, the wiring gets, it's just, I don't want all that. I don't need all that. I don't want a bunch of fucking wiring and everything. I want us to keep everything as simple as possible. And I need a computer in here. Um, not only to, you know, connect to the internet, do my business, right? I can surf the internet right here. I don't have to keep on pulling out my laptop. And I can get off my phone. I'm tired of being on my phone, right? Um, I can do more. And then I'll be able to tune the car as well. What I can do, right, what would be really convenient, I hate this lighting, sorry if you can't see me right, what would be really neat once I get the computer monitor in there, right, that doesn't work either, I get the computer screen or the Kenwood radio right there, and I get a computer up in there, I can run a serial cable or, you know, a basic USB cable or it's called a CAN bus cable, um, OBD2 plug in or whatever, I can run a slave cable, I can make my own cable. Um, I can run it right to the actual computer that's sitting right up here. It's mounted right here up against the wall. That's where it is. And then what it is, what my phone is buzzing because I have it plugged in. I can connect right there. So what I can do is I can run like HP tuner, those type of things I can basically modify the system I can you know check the actual computer that runs the actual the engine and I can change you know parameter settings whatnot um, look at it um, I can change they're called maps or tables I can see the air fuel ratios coming in and out um, AFR for short they got so many different terms and they use map sensors and mass airflow sensors and there's so many different ways we could you know um run this engine so we are going to be changing a lot of things on this motor making it more efficient uh, more reliable more easier to maintain and do maintenance so that not only will it be more reliable as i travel the country here in the united states of america and possibly mexico i might even go down farther in this car or even canada right um we'll see but when I do the repairs, it would be cheaper in the long run and quicker because of 
the maintenance and the, the type of installation that I have done and the modifications that I have changed on this car that, you know, that just makes sense that I'm going to show you guys, you know, um, that also will be the big difference between my company, um, the car company side of the organization, which I'm looking for people that are willing to um, work with me um, in a concept shop and um, design these things on, you know, in computer, you know, in CAD software and stuff and, and whatnot, you know, I'm trying to get into a place that has all these things that will allow me to flourish and prosper, um, but allow me to run my YouTube on the side. That's the hardest thing I've been, I've been having a hard time finding here in Michigan. Um, there's a few places in mind, I just haven't got there yet, you know what I mean? You gotta remember that I'm starting from bottom and I'm doing it on purpose to show everyone how to do it and that it can be done and to keep faith and show that God is involved in everybody's life at all times, whether they know it or not. And all they have to learn how to do is simply learn grace, accept it in their heart, ask Jesus to come in their heart, and then glorify Him in everything that they do. They don't have to be perfect. No one's perfect anyways. We all know this. We all say it. So, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, man. And if it's bad, don't keep doing what you're doing. Change it. God will heal you, heal you from that pain, Jesus will heal you from that conscious guilt and then give you a new start, a new beginning. Um, but you have to change, you have to find purpose in Him and in your life. You must find the gifts that He has already instilled in your heart to use. He wants to use you. He wants to use everyone because there's things that He has that He, has, he hasn't accomplished yet, that He hasn't finished yet that he's created us for, for, for his goal to be accomplished, you understand? And the Bible speaks about that. The Bible speaks on what's to come and why we're here and what it is we need to do. That's why it's called, you know, basic, you know, Bible, you know, everybody knows what Bible stands for. Basic instructions before leaving earth. It's a nice bike, sounds nice. All right, these are really primitive motors. Um, I like them <clears throat> because they're great. Um, they're hard. They're <sighs> people say they're shit motors. Like Bill would say, they're really, really shit motors, and they, and because they have plastic in them, which they do design motors to break. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that's why it's a piece of shit. He was just being biased. Um, but they are very primitive motors and they're very, very, you know, rough, you know, but that's why they vibrate so much. That's why girls, when they get on, their fucking clit vibrates. That's why they're called fucking giant vibrators on two wheels. That's why the girls love them and that's why all the guys get them. Um, Cause they think they look cool, but they're really not efficient at all. They're just wasting gas, blah, 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 That's what it does. That's all it is really is just show me, just, here, it's, it's, it's an attention whore. That's all the bike was designed for was to get everyone's attention, simply. Yeah, they're cool to ride and stuff. They look cool, but crossing the country on that is stupid. You'd be sore, dumb, and retarded. You're better off doing it on a real cafe bike, like turning a crotch rocket, or like a, you know, just a more smoother type of motor engine, you know what I mean? It's way more efficient. Liquid cool too would probably be, you'd probably be better off. Just being honest with you, unless you're trying to go old school, you know what I mean, and trying to, you know, you were trying to make something cool and had a goal overall just to see if you could do it, you know. Then yeah, that's cool. But it's because you're doing it because you're doing it because of your passion, not to look cool. They're nice. Don't get me wrong, they're nice. They're cool as fuck. They really are. They're nice. They're just not efficient. They're basic motors though. That's what makes them so primitive. That's what makes them actually really reliable. Bill is dumb as fuck. I hate when people talk when they talk. They don't 
know what they're talking about. They're very, very reliable. Like the old World War II uh, bikes were very, very reliable. They wouldn't have made them in, for the army if they broke all the time. Like think about what what it is that he's saying, that Bill was saying, I think he's stupid. Which I want to get fuel, right? I was mentioning, I love coffee, I'm an addict, it gets me going, right? And I love to replenish myself, replenish, nourish myself in water that is below 7 pH. Um, your body doesn't absorb it well. Um, you'll just piss it out, to be honest with you. Um, nor does it help you convert anything. It doesn't help you process anything. And all the stuff, the really harsh environment that we live in, um, physically-wise, not spiritual-wise, but physically, you know, um, materialistic-wise, um, the food, everything, you know, all this stuff, it's genetically modified, all the salts, which is very bad for us, which I also mentioned earlier that we've been putting salt on the roads, right? If you read the Bible, right, salt was terrible. Not only did they buy it to, you know, for seasoning and stuff, they also knew that it would destroy the ground. They would go, like, in war, I mentioned this in a video before, they would go if they didn't like like another territory or didn't like another culture or a belief, the Hebrews and other places, the Israelites and the listen, all of them, it didn't matter. It didn't matter if you're Jewish, it didn't matter if you're if you're African or black, they all knew that if you put salt in the ground, nothing could grow. And that's what they would do. They would literally sneak in the middle of the night and pour salt all over the farm, all over the village, all over their crops and kill them and then they would block them out they would they would block them in or block them out so the people couldn't move what are you going to do you're stuck in an area that's unfertile it's not fertile think about it and that's what we're doing to our own ground simply because we want the snow to melt because we're lazy because it's safer, it melts the snow quicker in accidents, right? We gotta find a different way. We have to. But then again, you know, it's a system, it's a well oiled system. They're doing it for a reason so they can charge the federal government more money. It's just a big scam. It really is, political wise. But we're gonna go here and grab a Red Bull, right? I got $13. Gotta have a Red Bull. Um, Cause I usually drink two coffees a day, I'm not working. And this has a really high content, 80 milligrams of caffeine and a little drink, so it'll get me my headache away. I'll be able to do Bible study tonight. My mind won't be foggy. I won't be so slow like I am. That marijuana, that uh, London pound cake, bro. It, listen, it's the strongest marijuana strand I have found. Um, Sleepy-wise, pain relief-wise, slowing you down wise uh head head high um and it's really enjoyable so i'm getting the biggest fiji water i can get right here and it's red bull the rest is going in gas because i got like a little less than a quarter tank monday tomorrow right i can drive around for a few i can flood the internet all right, I can run around outside, get internet places, flood the internet for jobs, wait for people to call me. I got a few messages for my cherry oak table, which I'm asking 250. Maybe somebody will meet me tomorrow. I bet you by Tuesday I'll have a job, okay? So I'm gonna put the rest, whatever. All right, well, how much is this? Two six six sixty eight. I got 13 on here, so can you put the rest out of 13? There's like 13 and some change, please. Appreciate you. God bless you. Oh, uh, that pump right here, the number three. No, I have only 13 cash. Yeah, so I don't know what the difference, whatever the difference is. I would do the math for you, but it seems like you might be better at math than me. You deal with it all day. See, awesome, 632. Thank you. Got that. I got a new car today too, which was nice. Approved. 
We're good. So I almost got some bucks. Can I get the receipt, please? Thank you. So we get gas, we got Red Bull, we got hydration. Listen, I get this water for a reason. Not only is it the best tasting, some places charge $5 for it. Let's see how much I paid for it. $4 I paid for it. Not bad. No, I paid $2.69 for it. I think I paid, I don't know, I paid $3, no. I'm pretty sure I paid $2.50 for the Red Bull. I did. And then $3.99 for this, which it's $3 at some marathons. Some places charge $5 for this, but it's so worth it to me because when I drink this, come on, oh, I, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. God bless you, sir. I like your shirt. It says Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. And like different like cultures, it had like, uh, you know, the Irish culture, you know, like the lucky clover leaf. It had a different symbol for all the other cultures too. I wish I seen it, I could show you guys. I would go back in there, but that'd be kind of creepy, wouldn't it? Um, but this water, man, I don't, like I said, it's not only the best tasting, right? This is why it helps me, man. It gets rid of, not only does it get rid of that fog, that mental fog, along with the caffeine, because I've been addicted to it for so long, that's why. Um, it helps with the muscles, man, I'm telling you, with the stretching, like all the yoga that I do and stuff and like the breathing the energy wise all that stuff it really fucking helps man it does and it has listen this is why if you look at all the waters even like the smart water with the high ph that 9.5 shit it doesn't work as good as this i promise you this is the best working water i have found you know like realistically without ordering anything on the internet or having special delivered fucking water to my house being bougie like the millionaires and shit you know because you can have all that shit done don't think that you can't um you can have whatever you want done if you're a millionaire right billionaire but here us normal people right because i'm normal um the silica it has silica 93 milligrams per liter calcium 18 milligrams per liter magnesium which is, I can't tell you how important that is. It's the metals and everything that you need to convert so much in your body. And that's 15, milligram, 15 milligrams per liter. Um, and then the pH level 7.7, .7, which is a biblical number too, it's seven. I mean, come on, I'm, that's what I study. Um, and then I'll read the back of it. It says Fiji water, Fiji water untouched. Fiji water comes from a sustainable ancient aquifer or aquifer deep within the earth on the islands of Fiji. Bottled at the source, natural pressure forces the water toward a sealed delivery system directly into the bottle, free from human contact. And so you unscrew the cap. So yeah, people are running it, you know what I mean, stuff like that, but that makes sense, right? But it, it's, being, it's being filtered, right, naturally through volcanic rock, right? If you look it up on the internet, you look at Fiji and you start studying like the natural territory around it and whatnot, it's mostly volcano, volcanic rock, they know this, right? And they found this aquifer that naturally when it rains and stuff down there, cause it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like the Amazon type area, right? It rains a lot. The, the mountains and stuff like that collect the rain, it filters down into this aqueduct, this aquifer down there, you know, it's just a big hole. Lake underground and the water is, is, is pristine, it's crystal clear, it's, cl it's clean and since it's been filtered through all that volcanic rock and all that stuff, right? Uh, and it's been untouched by humans. And since, you know, you got all this pollution, right? Where all the trees have been cut down and stuff like that. Out there where it's in the middle of the ocean, right? Fiji, it's in the islands of Fiji out that way, right? And you got all that forestry, right? It's had time to clean out all of this bullshit, this stuff that has been created by man that's been let out into the atmosphere. And not only has it been filtered, right, it's also collected all the minerals and all that silica, all those traces of good stuff for your body. And it's sitting in that water. And that's why people in Fiji, if you look at the villages and stuff, they're low. That's why the Bible calls water holy. Because without it, you're, you're, it's not good for you. And then here's people drinking tap water and 
you know, and stuff like that. And here's companies stripping the water. You know what I mean? They actually sturdily, they, they, they strip the water on purpose. Or they don't put anything in it on purpose. And people are buying it, you know, not consciously aware um, of what it is that's really going on because they don't care, otherwise they would know. Because if they cared, most people have the phone in their hand, they have the internet, which you can learn everything, which is good, but also bad because you can learn everything that is bad on there. So this is why I do what I do. I'm separating, sifting through all the bullshit to help people, not only to help people, but to help myself. So go get yourself some Fiji water. Go get yourself some Red Bull. Subscribe. Help me out by helping yourself. Push that subscribe button. I don't care who you are. If you're white, yellow, black, you look like a pumpkin. You are a pumpkin because your head is so fucking big. I don't care. There goes my fucking receipt. Always save your receipts. I repeat myself a lot, but that's okay. Because history repeats itself, so. It's one thing you learn in the Bible. Everything repeats itself.